So there are over 113 million channels on YouTube currently, and statistics show that only about 6% of these channels actually reach the monetization target. I was able to reach a part of this target, which includes the 1,000 subscribers max, within 120 days of starting my YouTube channel. And I want to show you how you can do this the way I did it. So the first thing I noticed was that you would have to create emotional deposits in the hearts of people. Now I say this because early on in my medical school journey, because my channel I knew will be sent out on the medical school and medical training niche, I started making these emotional deposits in the hearts of my younger colleagues. And this included me teaching, coaching, and doing stuff surrounding that. Even though it wasn't clear cut in my mind that eventually I'm going to set up a YouTube channel, but I knew that in the long term, I will be making an investment within that space. And it has helped so far because within the first two weeks, the channel reached about 500 subscribers. And then subsequently within the next six weeks thereabout, we reached the eventual milestone of a thousand subscribers. And this was largely due to the number of persons who were consistently sharing the link for the channel out for medical students all over the country where I reside to subscribe. You have to decide on a particular niche early on. We popularly say that every channel has an ideal subscriber. I'm sure you've seen some channels where you go to, you watch a video, this video has probably 800,000 views, but you look at the number of subscribers in that channel and it's barely 2,000. Now what happened is that people came to watch that video, but on looking through the other content in that particular channel, it did not resonate with them because someone would only commit to something he or she knows he would persistently benefit from in the long run. So someone comes to your channel, he or she should be able to say, this channel is designed for me. That brings the magnetic force for them to stick their hand out there and click the subscribe button. So it's good early on that you decide a particular niche that someone can identify with. Now, it would be nice if you have results. So from wherever you are now, it would be good if you have proofs that you are an authority in whatever niche that you're setting out. Now, I'm not saying this is compulsory. It's just an advantage. People may want to go into you know, making tutorials on how to cook online, hairstyling, whatever the case is. If you have personal proofs, if for instance, someone wants to go into something having to do with sales of hair, wigs and all of that, and he or she is saying, okay, this is how my hair transitioned from this to this, or someone who once probably did not know how to cook as much and now has a skill, upscale business that is doing well and thriving well, that person has results or proofs. So whatever it is that you're doing, that you're setting out to do, or perhaps you've launched your own YouTube channel already, you should keep working on yourself so that you can have proofs and people can now identify you as a thought leader within this space or someone that they can trust his or her judgment as pertaining to that particular need. It would also be nice that you're able to identify the most important things that persons within that niche want to hear. So when I was starting out my channel, I asked myself, as a medical student, what were those things that... I found very interesting. What were those things that I would want someone to teach me? So if you look at the first series of videos I did, they were all centered on the efficacy of reading strategies. So I talked about active recall, time management, planning, goal setting, because I knew these were things that would stimulate the interest of the persons that I'll be speaking with. So you should be able to identify the common pain points peculiar to that your ideal subscriber and sort of make your first 10 videos flow in that light. Give value. I see a lot of persons coming up on YouTube or coming up on podcast platforms and they're already attaching price tags to what they are what they are putting out there for. Now, if you look at everybody who has risen within the content creation space, there is always that place where they were initially given value for free. That's how people will be able to hear your story, hear your views and mass. If you always attach price figures to something that you're just starting out on barely five to ten percent of the people that message is meant for would hear it because once people see a financial package attached they would tend to withdraw from that so as much as possible make up your mind that i'm coming on youtube i want to give value i'll do it for free and i can tell you on youtube great things happen to people who make those value investments for free to be vulnerable and make mistakes now when i was starting i had a lot of resistance internally because if you have a penchant for excellence chances are that you would want everything to be perfect you can go and check my first video i'm sure the background was no way close to this the audio the editing everything largely different from what you're watching as you're watching this video but i had to start from somewhere so 
quit the excuses of, you know, I don't have good lighting, I don't have this, I don't have that. Just start from where you are and make consistent steps to improve. Regarding your video editing, graphics designing, whatever it takes, all of these things will take shape as time goes on, but you have to start from where you are. You have to be willing to put yourself out there as you are at the beginning, and then you grow into the ideal channel that you want to be. Be consistent. YouTube rewards consistency. The algorithm is designed that way. Develop a rhythm. Either you say you're posting weekly, you're posting every two weeks, you're posting monthly, whatever the case is, be consistent. And if you're a part-time YouTuber like me, meaning you have other jobs you're doing or you have a full-time job you're doing alongside YouTube, one thing that would help you is batch creating content. So you can decide this Saturday, I'm going to shoot four videos, I'm going to shoot two videos, whatever the case is, as against trying to shoot videos every now and then. So just write the scripts for the different videos and shoot them all at once. Then you can spend time either editing it or handing them over to a video editor to make necessary editings for you. Be willing to spend. I have an issue you might have to invest in things such as a microphone. I say this because the audio is non-negotiable. There's nothing that puts people... I mean, you know, humans can manage a low quality video, but once the audio is off, instantly they are logging out of that video. So the minimum, you need a microphone. Whatever phone you have, an Android phone, an iPhone, you start from there. But things like audio, eventually you step up your lighting, the environment that you find yourself in, work on a decent background that can be appealing to whoever it is that is watching it. So you get all of these nitty gritties in shape as you move on. It will require you to make investments financially but definitely to become worth it as you journey along put it this way shamelessly promote your content within your local environment people don't think about you as much as you may think or people don't care about what you're doing as much as you may think because every or most youtuber will tell most youtubers will tell you that when they were about to start they had this thought of what will people think how will people feel and all of that just get all of that excuse behind yourself send your content out there you don't know whom would see it that actually wants to watch it or you don't know whom that they know that would desire to benefit from that content so share it via dm share it on your status encourage people to post it for you as well and these are the strategies that you can use to grow so i'm cheering you on i'm rooting for you i hope you reach the monetization target in another video i'll tell you how to meet the four thousand hours recommended which is the other side of the story to be completely monetized on youtube thank you for watching i remain dr gospel and i'll see you next time